back to this vlog it is your girl nello again as always i don't know why i just did my intro like that anyways you guys welcome hope you guys are all doing fine anyways i'm with the boys kobe and kaito we are going to i'm taking them to go and cut their hair you guys i'm carrying a handbag for the first time this year <laughs> i feel so proud like i'm a woman now like i'm carrying a handbag okay i have this handbag that i've had for god knows how long i dusted it out today i'm carrying a handbag so please i'm feeling some sort of way so they're going to cut their hair because like two days ago i took them to cut their hair but i forgot their clippers so that's why i'm carrying this bag to fit their clippers inside the bag and also fit my camera because i'm documenting um kobe's uh, what's it called a birthday vlog so you guys will see his birthday vlog very soon his birthday is in six days i'm having dinner with youtube today i'm excited about that they just sent us our jumia food voucher they sent um 15k jumia food voucher coco you're making noise and i've been trying to add things to my jumia food but i don't know what to buy for 15k um yeah i'll tell you guys all about that when i come back i have to loosen my hair wash my hair style it do makeup and just look good okay but when i get back we're going to do all that you guys there uh, Nigerians and keeping to time. So this uh, barbing salon that we are in, they are supposed to open at 11. We got here like 11.01. It's currently 11.21. So we've been here for 20 minutes and nobody is here. Like, nobody is here. Well, it's a salon and something else. So like a barber shop slash something else. So the place is open because the other people are here. But the people that actually cut the hair. I'm not here. Okay, guys, we're still waiting, Sha. You guys, um, Nigerian businesses are the most unserious. Nigerian business owners are the most unserious set of business owners I've ever come across in my entire life. So it's currently 10 minutes to 12, and we're heading home. We're going back home. guys being in Portacot sucks so much the only place i literally could order from that are open right now is chicken republic which is crazy i really don't feel like eating chicken republic but well i have to eat chicken republic so i ordered a bunch of stuff <laughs> hey james yeah i love jesus i love jesus i love jesus jesus that Jesus. I don't have so many pet names that you know I got from Ada Jesus. So she has Ada Jesus, Dad Jesus, AJ, Ada J, um, Ada Jesus, pronounced exactly like that. <laughs> um, which other one? Just so many names. All got you from Ada Jesus, okay? Um, and that's why I call her. I mean, I don't call her, I hardly call her Adana. Only when she's been with her, like Adana. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I finished having my bath. Whew, quick story, you know what? I'll give you some like my makeup. Let Uche take a dana. Uche, come in. Let Uche take a dana so that I will start my makeup. I'm not doing any serious makeup, it's like quick makeup, but just to look presentable so I don't look um, mad. Say bye. Say bye, guys. Say bye, guys. Oh my god, look at Yellow purple. Adana is what they call Ibufanto Bako. Yeah. She's fair on her face, dark. The rest of her body is dark. Look at her legs. <laughs> Look at her legs. Her legs are so dark. It's so funny. Why you, and this happened to Kobe as well. So maybe she will lighten up later. It happened to Kobe. It happened to Kaito. So maybe she will darken as well. I don't want you to be stupid every day. Uche poop as far in her mouth. I feel so bad. But I have to 
just touch up my face so you guys the palette i'm going to use on my face today i blush everything is this lydia stanley's um palette that she did with zika cosmetics i really don't even i didn't know lydia stanley or who she was so like if i be to talk about her like if i be to talk about her often so once i saw this palette i went to check her out she's absolutely so talented and i decided to buy the palette because like if i used it in a video and it was so good you guys look at just look at those colors i hope it's focused look at these colors i don't i don't even know if this video is doing it justice hi camera <laughs> but look at this camera you got i say camera god look at these colors so um i'm going to be doing my eyeshadow from this palette i'm going to be doing my contour from this palette and also blush this is not a serious makeup it's just like you know sharp sharp so i finally ordered food i'm waiting for the food um i just ordered the food not long ago Hopefully you get here early because Nigeria will tell you 35 to 45 minutes. Akoko. Two hours, you are still waiting for the food. So let's hope you just get here early, Sha. Everywhere is so quiet. See, generator is such a. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it in this country because the noise that comes from generators is ridiculous. But lucky that we have inverter, so we don't use um, gen a lot but all our neighbors like all our neighbors use um generator in the afternoon once there is no light so even though we don't have anyone making noise even our gen really doesn't make noise we are suffering it because our neighbors use noisy gen i just got notification from jumia food our rider has picked up your order and it's coming your way that's that's surprising <laughs> that means they're actually going to give to the 35 to 45 minutes time and oh it also sucks that in ph we don't have a lot of options who to order food from like literally there were three vendors that I could order from from like where i live three vendors which is chicken republic um one other place shout to other places i think genesis was one of them and <laughs> i really didn't feel like eating from any of those with people i had to place my order because I didn't have any other choice. It just sucks. I feel like Jumia needs to expand. And oh, have I started telling you guys what happened as well? I think I, I didn't tell you guys this part. That when I wanted to order from Jumia as well, they were telling me we don't deliver food in your country. <laughs> Choose another country. I chose Nigeria. They told me we don't deliver food in your country. I was just like, we really need to get it together. I had to delete the app, redownloaded it. I was still getting the same error message. Um, I put my address the same error. Mind you, I've used Jumia food several. In fact, I used them recently when I ordered food using Nazor's code. Nazor did a video for Jumia and I used them recently, so it didn't even make sense. But thank God um, I sorted it out. I just gave it time and tried again later after about one hour and it worked. Hello. Hello. Yeah. And the money is uh, 6,000. <sighs> the money is not 6,000. No, I pay with, paid with a voucher. Sorry? It is not 6,000. It's supposed to be 600. I paid with a voucher. Then my balance is 600. Uh, you can call your people and confirm. I have it on my app now. I order through the app. Okay, let me. Just. <laughs> Nigeria. So you guys, to contour, I'm going to be using this brown shade from this palette. Hope you can see it. This brown. That's what I'm going to contour with. Just because um, I'm planning to, like when I'm going to my village this Christmas, to only go with this palette. So I want to know if the palette can do everything for me. Like, I normally use the same palette for contour, blush, and all that good stuff. I ended up mixing these two, these two right here. Because I just felt like the brown might be too dark. I don't know, because I've not used it before. It's actually perfect. Like mixing the two. So, so perfect. Oh my god. It made it lighter and better. Can you guys see that? Can you see that contour? It's even too much. Nice. I like it. You guys. Oh my god. Then to blush, I'm going to be using this orange here. And I'm using orange to blush because Laifa did it in her last video. <laughs> And I'm going to do it. Normally, I will use like a dark. Ah, <sighs> the junior. 
Hello. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. They are calling back. Hello. Yeah, I'll check on my system now. You're supposed to give the guy six hundred naira. Yes, please. Yes, that's what it is. Please, can you tell him so that I can give it to him? Because I'll do the money. I'll do the money. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So yes, after all the AC and closed windows, let this place cool small. I just remember that Adese is going live in nine minutes. Ah, I'm so excited. This is her first live. So um, I'm going to go and quickly join her live. I'll show you guys. Yay, I'm you guys. Well. Adese is live. Okay. It's live. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm excited. Let me mute it a little bit. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys this earring I bought from... Please, ignore my nails. Just ignore my nails. This earring I bought from... Okay, let me put it here so you see it well. From Minoso. So is this really, really cute ring? And then the hook has this thing. This. So when you hook it, I'm going to show you guys what it's going to look like. So basically when you hook it, this is just going to be dangling in the middle. It's so cute. So I normally have this table here, so I just pushed it out <laughs> and placed these things on top. My flower is dead. I'm going to buy a new one. All dead. Completely dead. All of them. God. Kaito plucked it off, in fact. This is a story for another day. <laughs> Entertainer in Nigeria, I know that just being a YouTuber, like a regular YouTuber, I know how um, I, I don't say stressful, but how stressful being a content creator can be in Nigeria. There are so many challenges, like we can't even begin to mention the number of challenges we have. I'm sure if you're a Nigerian content creator, you know this. So, do you like have challenges caused by just mere things like? I don't know, like for YouTubers, it's simple things like data, the speed, um, electricity, like so many random things that can cause problems. So do you like have all those things affect you as an entertainer as well, or is it different for you guys? Um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed in the sense that now most of the, most of the year is spent like traveling across the world even in covid like i've been doing this this trip so like things that used to like be an issue such such as like like you said data to even upload <laughs> when you now pay for good internet itself is like long to put it up and you know a lot of your your fans or people who are interested in your content cannot go online to watch it because it's expensive via their data cost so in some ways i don't like some of the issues like uploading is no more an issue to me but in the sense of like reaching some of my core audience i still know that because of data they cannot like access it and so when you know but and there's some certain things we are doing on the top level to address that but hey it is what it is but the beautiful thing about the internet is the whole world can access it and so you know you there's there's a there's a there's a trade-off there one last question okay you know how you have fans all over the world you know how nigeria nigeria like there's fake of everything you know how you release music is on apple music or wherever and literally the next minute somebody is selling a fake cd on the streets does that affect you now or it doesn't really affect you guys because i mean you're selling music all over the world so so obviously it's it's you know it affects who i would i would prefer if everybody on the street is paying for my music or paying for my content or ip but we need to look what the way i look at it i see it as part of the entire ecosystem like yeah. don't quote me i'm not saying 
piracy is right and piracy is wrong but in the end when you look at other other factors that affect you know the yeah. entire sector in africa yeah you see the role of i yeah. i look at those people as distributors like when yeah. somebody is saying hey niger loaded is uploading your music i'm like yeah but if niger loaded does not upload my music that kid on the streets that does not have a credit card will not be able to access it that's right. Right. That's from right. distribution and marketing and you could do smart deals where you go to the pirates and license it to them and they, they, they just pay you a fee and then they could make they could print cds and for you it's distribution it's marketing you know because you're not going to stand in traffic and you know sell your content so you just have to to look at it as you know not in isolation as part of the yeah. ecosystem and then try to move in advance preempt like my first mixtape i went to a lab and say hey this is my mixtape take give me money and <laughs> i just want to go and sell it in all the traffic and they, they paid me a lump sum and then when i saw it in traffic i wasn't upset because i knew that yeah. they had paid and you, then said, you, you were ahead. Exactly. You were so, ahead. <laughs> so you know you had to you had to start thinking. Say, I'm oh, day in Nigeria. I mean, I'm in Nigeria. That's this right. is the yeah. reality. Yo, so, I'll just take your I'll just take your contact. Uh, I think Adi is gonna share. I, I, I mean, we're gonna have everybody's contact, and then yeah. let's do it. Like I'm not even joking when I say let's do it. I my yeah. entire career has been built on collaboration. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's 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 do it. And also, yes. you can ping it in the chat. Um, Easy's team is on the call, and they can take it from there too. So you can just yeah. ping the contact details in the chat, and they can also take it from there. So you guys, we're on a break now, seven minutes break or so. Mr. Easy, we just been having a chat with Mr. Easy. My food is here. I'm trying not to eat too much because I'm not supposed to be eating actually. So I've not really ate the rice. I ate some of the chips, and that's it. Yes, so we're on a break. I'm just stretching my legs. You guys, I'm wearing a nice top and then a random pants. Like, I can't even be more than. It was actually very, very enlightening having that chat with Mr. Easy. I asked him some questions and he sounds. They're talking. And he sounds so smart, but I'll, I'll talk to you guys about that later. Cheers. Cool, Liquor. Alcohol. Time up. Time oh, up. No. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, I feel like I need one. I feel like I need one. Who was the first one? You got it right. I said you got it right. Obama. Yeah. Oh, what? Right. Wait, so why did you spend more time after you said Obama? <laughs> yeah, what did you carry on talking about it? No, I thought you had to say the whole thing, didn't it? Like, no, you could have gone to the next question. <laughs> but, <laughs> we're ready, we're ready. Do you have your cup holder? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Available. All right. So that team, make sure uh, you guys are ready. Team three, that is. We are ready. Aaron, uh, Millie Churchill show. And we're going to get started in three, two, one. Men wigs, crazy makeup, rapport extravagant. Wait, what? I don't think she got the rules. We have to. Why don't we start over? Pop, pop, pop. Don't read out the black words. Just try to explain what you're seeing in yellow without using the black words. It's a movie. Uh, action by Alex. Avengers, the Avengers. Oh, Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. That's yeah. Good. Uh-huh. Pretty, pretty American musician. Beyonce. Uh, had had a, had a, had a ex-boyfriend, they had a fight. Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna. Rihanna. Good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. One. Oh, I mean, I mean, that was a tough one. Rihanna said chlamydia. Chlamydia. Who is that? 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 Because he said not Johannesburg. Yeah, I said it's a city that's not Johannesburg in the same yeah, place. That was, that was obvious there. It was yeah. obvious it was Cape Town, but you know we are with her team, so they're short. Several days later. Hi guys. <laughs> so it's been a few days since the dinner and I've just been so busy. Like I had my class on Saturday, the dinner on Sunday, and my life has just been so busy these past few days. I'm preparing for Kobe's fifth birthday. I can't wait. 
and I even went to the hospital today. That vlog should come up very soon, Sha. Had some things done, and um, yeah, life is good. <laughs> life is actually good. Um, it was just so nice having the dinner and just meeting creators from you know other parts of the world. I met creators from South Africa, Kenya, UK, Nigeria, of course, and just some other countries I can't remember right now. And um, yeah, it was good having that chat. I learned definitely learned one or two things, and it was actually really really fun. We played a game. My team did not win. <laughs> We came second, but we all still got the gift, like they sent out um, the gift to all of us. So I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. Um, yeah, it was really, really nice. That chat with Mr. Easy actually was very enlightening. Like he just told some of his stories, like from his humble beginnings, how, you know, he literally had to find a path for himself and um, just things that he did and he still does and I don't know, I, can't, I don't know where to begin to, <laughs> to just you guys, but just know I learned a lot from that. I definitely did learn a lot from that dinner. As much as it was fun, it was very entertaining, educating at the same time. So that's that, guys. Thank you, YouTube, for, you know, inviting me, for including me in this dinner, you know, the YouTube black community. And yes, I should mention that all the creators there were black because this is like trying to promote, you know, YouTube black community. So it was all black creators and I have fun and hopefully this is the first of many things to come, you know, many should I say collaborations with YouTube or many um, events with YouTube and all that good stuff? Anyways, anyways, <laughs> that's it for this vlog. That's it. I don't know why I've been saying that's it a lot. That's it for this vlog. I have my meat in the grill. I'm grilling meat to go my salad. So I have to go now. Hope you guys are having a good week because I'm having a really, really good week, you guys. Um, I don't know. Like, there's been a lot of obstacles. <laughs> Trying to find ways to come into my life, but God is God is above all of all these things. Okay, God is above it all, and I'm happy that I'm thriving and just happy to be honest. So, and I'm eating right as well. I'm eating right, your okay? girl. Like, see, a healthy body and a healthy mind they go hand in hand. Okay, so I'm also eating right. We thank God for that. Slow and steady. Okay, slow and steady with this whole healthy lifestyle thing. But anyways, that's it, you guys. I have to go now. Um. See me. <laughs> I like this mirror. Like I like looking my look at myself from this mirror. Um yeah, I have to go now and I'll catch up with you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.